How's it going? Hello there. Guys, you don't see this too often. Yes. Landell on an evening video. I know. On a Monday. I on a Monday. Yes. Monday is for the muscles, so he didn't want to miss this one. Did not want to miss it. Did not want to miss it. Can't miss it. So, guys, I apologize for not doing, like, a couple of my videos last week. I was out of commission. I was hurting. I was sick. Couldn't talk. Couldn't breathe. I'm lucky to be alive. Um, <laughs> He's alive and well. I'm alive and well. Made a muscle this morning. So, um, the last video that I kind of did talking about keto kind of caused a little uproar, so I thought I'd bring it back. Um, so, with the phrase being Mondays for the muscles, we brought back, yeah, boom. I ain't even gonna flex because I can't compete hurt. with that. Yeah, <laughs> Broke it. Oh, um, two days. Two days. Just Good thing his legs. I just wanted to flex for Facebook. Yeah. And I paid the ultimate price. Yep. It happens when you flex on Facebook. Just stick to my chest. You look freaking jacked right there, dude. It's the shirt. It's the shirt. It's the freaking, angles. Look at massive. Inversions. It's all about angles. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, talking about keto, there's a couple of myths that I kind of wanted to uh, bust, kind of get over. So. There's a lot of myths and misconceptions and misformations that kind of come around with, and the reason why this all came up again is because literally what I did before this video was Google Trends and did fitness and keto popped up. So why not do another video on keto? Gotta keep up with the times. Run it. So a lot of things that are confusing people here lately about the keto diet is they're proposing it as like it's a it's a negative it's it's a negative thing uh, a lot of people think that carbs are absolutely necessary to build muscle and the keto giant the keto ketogenic diet hurts exercise performance and that's completely exaggerated so with all this conflicting information that you're seeing online and from me so I'm choosing a side, and that is saying this still is this is still messing me up. We figured out how to fix the camera, yeah. and it's messing me up big time. Um, I'm choosing that keto is good. So anybody that has anything to kind of go negatively with it, sorry. Um, so you, one of the first things that I've kind of been addressed with, and things that I did research on, is people saying that you can't build muscle while on keto. When the truth is that with a deeper understanding of how the body works, carbohydrates can be restricted and you can still put on muscle. It is possible with um, a handful of reasons. So I am scrolling through notes, guys, okay? So I don't just, if it's, if it's not about supplements, I do have to take notes. Supplements, I can just spit that stuff out. Bill, what do we say? I want a taco, so if you can't eat tacos, I don't like it. Well, good for you. You can get keto tacos. Yes. So, anybody that tells you that you can't build muscle while on keto is, is preposterous. It's blasphemy. Probably not doing it correctly. Exactly. So, anybody that knows how to build muscle knows that it's done from three simple steps. So you eat enough protein. So if you're trying to put on mass, you want to take in about a gram to a gram and a half of uh, gram and a half of pro protein per pound of body weight. Uh, that's lean body, uh, lean like muscle mass. All right. Now, the other step on trying to put on muscle is eating in a caloric surplus. So you can't build muscle without eating more calories than you need. And with keto, that comes from fat, which is actually beneficial because for every gram of fat, there's nine calories. Uh, and then training correctly. So that's a big thing. So you don't necessarily need carbs to put on muscle. Are carbs good for building muscle? Of course they are. Um, they promote insulin release, they help restore glycogen in the muscles, and with carbs, you can gain mass a lot quicker, but that's because you're also gaining fat. Um, and some people ask me whenever I do talk about this, what exactly is glycogen? So it's a molecule that the bodies use for energy, that our bodies use for energy. Um, and 
glycogen, by definition, again, I'm looking at a note on this, so forgive me. By definition, in humans, glycogen is made and stored primarily in the cells of the liver and the muscles and functions as a secondary long-term energy storage, with the primary energy stores being fats held in the adipose tissue. Muscle cell glycogen appears to function as an immediate reserve source of available glucose for muscle cells, other cells that contain small amounts use it locally as well. So, that being said, as you can see, glycogen being used as a secondary source of energy where fats are primarily used as the first one. Once your body becomes adapted to using fats, you are in, ket in ketosis and um, you, you don't really need to use that much glycogen. Um, Anybody that knows me, though, is I'm a huge advocate for carbs. So, you love carbs personally. We personally. I'm with Bill. If I can't have tacos, then yeah. count me out. Me and Lindell personally set time aside to go eat carbohydrates. Yes. I myself had a piece of cake today. Yes. Shout out to David Williams and Amanda Sothard. I think that's how you say your last name. I not spell, but I can't say it. Thank you for the cake. It's phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Yes. I'm still eating on it. All right, I built up, I sort up a bunch of glycogen from it. Now, um, I see Tristan said, how long to fall into ketosis? Two to three? Um, it depends. It really depends. There's a, there's a couple of things that I will tell you about that you'll notice, kind of like indicators, let you know that you're in ketosis. But it, some person, if somebody doesn't have a lot of fat storage, it could happen in a week. If somebody has a, a decent amount of fat stored, it could take six weeks so it just varies um going into ketosis when you're making your body solely derivative off those proteins off those fats um the little amount of glycogen you need uh it can be created from the protein you eat in a process known as glucogenesis so glycogen can actually be created from protein and there's a lot of the notes that i took earlier that are going to be pretty beneficial to you guys so our carbs necessary for milk building muscle of course not um, you can still refill glycogen stores in muscles by following a ketogenic diet. Like I said, you can get that from getting it from fat. Um, the ketogenic diet is great for building muscle as well as uh, because the protein intake is relatively high and you're unlikely to lose the muscle mass because you're taking in so much protein. Um, in fact, even if your protein intake is low, with a ketogenic diet, you can still elicit a muscle sparing effect. So, more specifically, the ketone body called the uh, beta hydroxy. Um, what did I put here? Beta hydroxybutyrate (BHB). Um, boom. That um, is produced by keto and adapted individuals. So. Uh, in higher quantities, it has been shown to, in one study, decrease the leucine oxidation and promote protein synthesis, which is very, very beneficial. Um, so on top of that, the carbohydrate restrictions provided in an adrenogenic stimulus to the body have been found to prevent muscle breakdown. Uh, in other words, when blood sugar levels are too low, the body releases adrenaline, and which prevents muscle proteins from being broken down which isn't necessarily a good thing. You know, you need your muscle, you need it to break down so you can build it back up. Uh, although ketones and adrenaline can help preserve muscle mass, this doesn't mean that you should eat less protein. It is essential that you eat the appropriate amount of protein that you need to meet your goals. If you're unsure what your nutrient intake should be, you can go online, you can find a keto calculator to kind of find out what your protein intake should be. Um, Putting on mass while on a keto diet is going to be a lot harder. Uh, you're going to put on lean mass, and you're not going to have to worry about storing any extra fat. If you need to put on mass quicker with the keto diet, you can achieve that through um, an alternative kind of keto diet, kind of how people do like a paleo-ish diet, not necessarily paleo. The key thing to take away from all of this so far is that carb consumption is not essential to maintain or build muscle. As long as you're eating the right amount of protein and you're training correctly, you will gain muscle mass. It'll just take a lot longer. Um, on the other hand, if you're looking to preserve muscle while you're trying to lose fat, the ketogenic diet it probably is your best option. 
Uh, by limiting your carbs, you'll stimulate the two processes, ketosis and adrenal release, uh, that will reduce the muscle protein breakdown. Moving forward. Um, so, if it's not about building muscle, people will argue that performance is decreased while on a ketogenic diet. That just isn't true at all. So, a study was shown on a well-trained cyclist who was on a keto diet for four weeks. The results that were shown from him was that the aerobic endurance was not compromised at all, having no carbs, he was on keto. Um, the body's adapted through ketosis by limiting both glucose and glycogen stores and using fat as a predominant energy source. So if a cyclist can get away with doing keto, it, it, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, keep it on two wheels and be fine. Keep it on two wheels, just like the cyclist. Um, let's see, Tristan. What does that do for recovery time? Will more rest days be needed? If you're, again, if you're in a caloric surplus, you're not going to need that much. You're going to, your body's going to be solely derivative off of that protein and fat. Big thing to take away, like I talked to about you, talk to you guys with Josh, listen to your body. If you feel like you need a rest day, take a rest day. Um, the only real time where keto can kind of give you a performance loss in exercises is um, when you need explosive action. Um, that's when you'll see like a lot of runners like carb up before they go train, you'll see a bodybuilder carb up before they go step on stage, you'll see a powerlifter carb up before then. That's the only time that being in keto will kind of be negative is when you need explosive energy. So, um, kind of a football player, I wouldn't recommend being on keto. Some other things. What other thing would you like to recommend? Yeah. Anything with really anything explosive. Yeah. Um, Anything explosive. Anything explosive. Football is the only thing that can come to mind. I wouldn't power lift and be on keto. I tried it. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, horrible idea. Terrible idea. Horrible idea. Um, this inversion thing still throwing me off. Big time. I know it's still throwing me off. Hey, Nikki. Um, the key takeaway to kind of take away from everything, uh, a CrossFit athlete probably wouldn't benefit from keto either. So weird. I know, right? It's so so actually my right hand. Um, the key takeaway from every, from what I just talked about here, um, the keto diet will not hurt exercise performance for endurance activities such as jogging or cycling um, or high intensity athletes or exercise trainers. However, uh, high intensity athletes and people along those nature, uh, they will experience a decrease in explosive power while they adapt to keto. Uh, it's more of a baseline energy instead of it being like a up and down kind of wave thing. Um, yeah precisely moving forward I loved this part so uh, many people believe that a large amount of protein um, eaten in one sitting is wasted and that is a myth all right um, and I remember hearing this when I first got started in the kind of like the weightlifting game so the fifth the myth is floating around that you can only eat 30 grams of protein in one sitting and the rest is weighted wasted so where did this 30, this magical 30 grams come from? Nobody knows. Just some random well, that's number. That's not true. One protein shake for me is 30 grams of protein. Bro, you do two scoops, of, two scoops of Patriots, but it's 50. It's 50 grams. 50. 50. So, there's nothing been shown. Um, that would be assumed that 10 grams an hour would be the standard for like a bodybuilder. That just doesn't make sense. So nutrient timing provides minimal, minimal results in regular trainers. So fulfilling your daily amounts of nu daily nutrients needed, um, you wouldn't want to get like all of your days worth of protein in one sitting because um, that can bring you out of ketosis. But eating too much protein at once is fine, just not your day's worth. Let's just sit here. Bailey, it's moderate protein, high fat. Tristan, some people can, yeah. There you go, Bailey. Um, so, um, eating too much protein at, at once is fine. Um, your body can regulate the speed at which your intestines contract, uh, resulting in slower digestion for proper absorption. So in normal conditions, your small intestine is responsible for sucking up all that fantastic protein that you digest, 
In fact, it's been shown to absorb 95% of your protein. So if by chance you skip a meal and you have to eat 100 grams of protein in one sitting, your intestines won't be able to properly absorb it all. When this happens, your small intestines will store the proteins in amino acids and release them as their body needs and recycling them as needed. So the key takeaway to take away from that is make sure you're eating enough protein every day to meet your body's daily composition and to keep your protein from kicking you out of ketosis. Break down your protein intake evenly throughout the day. Uh... Oh, Tristan, Tristan, so I appreciate that. I appreciate you asking questions for the viewers. Um, now, practical application for exercise while on a keto diet. So a quick overview of kind of the steps that you need to take is make sure that you eat enough protein, um, a gram to a gram and a half of protein per pound of body weight. Distribute your proteins evenly throughout the meals. Eat the right amount of calories to meet your goals, whether you're trying to lean up, you're trying to put on mass, you're just trying to maintain. Uh, train correctly, so you want to promote muscle growth. Um, you want to induce hypertrophy. Um, use carbs as a tool to improve your high intensity performance. Um, so by using the recommendations, you will get a positive result that you can expect from the ketogenic diet. Um, that's pretty much all that I have from my notes. So let's see here. Let's, let's scroll through. Perfect. So shout out to Bailey. Everyone go check out Keto Savage. And then it looks like Bailey said he was on a keto diet and consuming 55 grams of protein and he got his pro card. So that's awesome. It's awesome. So, key takeaway. You can put on muscle while you're on keto. It's pish posh anybody that tells you otherwise. I apologize to do all the talking. No, I'm just, yeah. I talk a lot. I've just actually been astounded this whole time because I'm not used to being on the side. It's just I really, know, it's completely flip flop. I've been staring at it this whole time like, why? It's okay, I'll be used to it. And then I'll be more talkative. Yeah. I've been in amazement this whole time, but I think I'm finally coming to terms that this I look is better, the right way. I look better on that side. On the other side? No, the side that I'm on now. Yeah, no, you look better. I just want to make sure. You look. We both agreed upon that. Yeah, you look. Tan jacked and juicy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Why are you yoked over there yourself, sir? It's just because I have my arms folded. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> oh, see, look how much. Oh, see? I just grew two inches. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, um. Pick pop. Pick pop. Bam, 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 bam. Random pick pop. Uh, Monday was for the muscles, so trainer talk Tuesday. I think we had Mark last week. <laughs> Yep, pick pop. We are the pick harsh pop. ones. We try, we try. Um, who haven't we done here? Sorry. Um, who haven't we? Um, we've done Stephanie. More Stephanie. Stephanie. Oh, she's she's out of town. Wow. Well, you haven't done one. I'll do another one. Have you done one? Of course. You're in all my videos. Yeah. Well, most of them. Let's, let's, we'll pick something to talk about tomorrow. And we have to make up for you guys for the Wisdom Wednesday, too. Yeah. We'll make up for it. Things have been cray here. Been cray. We're getting back to it. We're getting back to it. Back to it. We're on the road to 3,000. Yes. Um, so, yeah, key takeaway, you can put on mass while you're on keto. You just got to eat more. You need more protein. You can eat more than 30 grams of protein per sitting. All that good stuff. I got nothing. Tomorrow. Same time, same place. Same many times, same many place. Yes. All right, so in closing, pick pop. Pick pop. Bicep vein. Oh, this is so oh, weird. Yeah. So which one do I use? use I got to get mine. There it is. Can I just, I don't know what to do with my arms right now. I'm just going to just. Just hit but front double bicep. Put them up there. Boom! There's Wayne. All right, he's coming out. All right, guys. Weather's bad. If you're driving and watching this video, shame on you. <laughs> well, <laughs> Turn it you. off. But thank you. You know, put put your earbuds in, drive and listen to us. Go back and play this later. Check it out on YouTube. Um, check out the Insta, you know, the FaceTube, 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 and the U book. Yes. Um, 
come by and see us tomorrow. People, everybody that's been watching, tell your friends. Tell your family's friends. Tell their family's friends. Tell their family's friends. We got fam sheets. Every person you sign up, $25 running man rewards. We got seven-day trials. I got protein. I got supplements. I got pre-workout. I got amino acids. I got red, white, and boom. Energy drink. Fantastic. Freedom. Set fire. I'm drinking an energy drink at six o'clock, seven o'clock at night. I don't even care. All right. I'm Dave with Anytime. Wayne Dave with Anytime. Deuces. Keep it on two wheels. Oh.